Hey, what is up everyone? Bo HD here from phonedog.com. Hope you guys are doing well. Now, when the Amazon Alexa was first announced in late 2014, the number one concern that arose and continues to be an issue today is privacy. Privacy advocates say that you are trading your privacy for convenience when you buy one of these smart speakers because every time you say the, the wake word, A-L-E-X-A, -E the digital assistant wakes up and it records what it hears and it sends that over to a server somewhere in the world where the company has access to it and potentially the government too. The Amazon Echo actually has a physical mute button on the device that you can press to keep it from listening to you. But in my opinion, that's really just there for some peace of mind. Uh, just the company has added that to really just make it so that it seems like you can keep the company from eavesdropping on you. But it's, first of all, it's possible that that button doesn't even actually really work. Um, but if you ignore that and you take their word for it that it actually does function as advertised, it's just really inconvenient to actually have to press the button every time you want to mute it and keep it from listening to you. Let's be honest, nobody's actually gonna mute and unmute the device every time they interact with it. That's just incredibly inconvenient and it kind of defeats the purpose of having a smart speaker in your home. And that's where the Alexa gate comes in. This little orange thing over here is sitting on top of my Echo Dot. It utilizes hardware hacking to render the microphones in the Amazon Echo useless. It consists of a mounting ring that fits most Amazon Echo devices and the white noise hat that uses ultrasonic sound waves to jam the mic. After you plug it in, it's active. All you have to do to disable it is just clap three times or you can tap on the button on top of the Alexa gate three times and it'll turn itself off and you can talk to your Echo like normal. So let's test it out. There we go, it's off. Alexa, hi. Hi there. There you go. And to turn it back on, to start jamming those microphones again, all you gotta do is just clap three more times and it'll work its magic. And you can actually customize the settings to optimize for louder or softer claps, just depending on your liking. There we go. Oh, and in case you're wondering, you won't actually be able to hear the ultrasonic waves since they're beyond the range of adult human hearing. Uh, personally, it kind of sounds like there's a little bit of like static when you get up close to it, but it's pretty much inaudible. Now, there are two real main downsides with this product. One, it's not the easiest on the eyes. It's a fairly cheap looking plastic device that sticks out like a sore thumb because it's fairly tall and orange in color doesn't really blend well with almost any decor. So I wish it came in more of a, a neutral black color. And two, it's expensive, it's $99. So you have to really value your privacy a bit to justify purchasing an Alexa gate. It's nearly twice as expensive as a third generation Echo Dot. The good news though, is that it does work as advertised. This is a test to see how well my voice is being picked up. Right now, the device, the Alexa gate is turned off. Alexa. So that's really it. That's the Alexa gate. If you care about your privacy to a pretty darn high degree, it might be worth shouting out about a hundred bucks for this product. Otherwise I can see maybe passing because it's pretty darn expensive, but regardless, I wanted to share it with you and uh, let you know that there are options to safeguard your privacy, which is constantly being eroded in today's society. With that said, I'm curious to hear your thoughts of this device down below in the comments section. As always, I'm Bo HD from PhoneDog.com. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you right back here in the next one. See ya.